guys. And mamay ulit, mamay ulit. Focus muna tayo, focus. Guys, may binibenta sila ng mga shirt kung gusto nyo. Punta lang kayo sa malapit sa Kalis. Meron rin sa Pugis. Final fight. Of 2021. Ready? What a thrilling year it's been. And this is how we end it. The former world champion, the crushing Kazakh, Akhmatov in the white. The all too familiar red trunks of Team Lukai on Danny Kingad. Yes, sir. First round, Sabi. Let's see, let's see. Look at the side kicks, especially to the legs. Look at the turning back kicks. The quick hands on the inside. Pero diba, tignan Muna yung first round sila. Already seeking a takedown and gets it. Nice little catch to a takedown there from Kairat Akhmedov as he lands in half guard. Let's see what King Ag can do off of his back right now. Kairat's very strong in this position. He's got very heavy hips. Exceptional ground and pound. And he chooses his shots very carefully. What are the options here for Danny Kingad? Well, first thing Danny Kingad's got to do, he's got to try to get off his back. He's got to turn onto his side and start looking for an underhook. See how he's trying to take his right hand and kind of shove it in? He's looking to get an underhook on his right side so he can pop himself onto his side and create some movement. But Kairat's so heavy. Decades of wrestling from Kairat Akhmedov. They're going to try to keep him flat on his back so he can't go anywhere. The problem is all about movement. You got to try to get on your side and create that movement. Karen Akhmedov, who says he has to dominate the fight because the judges always favor Danny Kingad. So he can't take any chances. Good job by Kingad to get back into full guard. Yeah, Danny Kingad has a pretty, really good track record as far as decisions go. He knows how to rack up points and secure decision wins. Well, Akhmedov thought that Kingad definitely lost against Reese McLaren, but said Kingad was gifted a decision. He does not want this to go to the judges tonight. He wants to finish the business before the 15 minutes. I don't think it was gifted. I just think Danny King, like Team Lakai in general, they know how to score. They know the scoring of one championship. They've been involved since the beginning. You know that wasn't me that said that. That was Carrot that said it was a gift. Let me just clarify. Good top the control guy here at King Ed. Good top control coming from Kairat Akhmedov. This is what he wants. He wants to keep King Ed on his back, beat him up for the duration of this match. He does not want King Ed on his feet, flowing with that strike and hitting with that wushu. King Ed actually spent time training with the Philippine national kickboxing head, team. So his striking is real sharp. Yun lang ground pa rin ground tayo, guys. Akhmedov knows that. He wants to ground him, put him on his back, beat him up. And make him work, drain that energy, that explosiveness away from Danny Kingad and do this. Nice little elevation here from Kingad. Dragon that characterizes a Greco Roman wrestler. Greco Roman wrestling is uh, attacks from the upper body. So, so no they don't attack the legs, legs, right? Yeah, they don't attack the legs. So it's a tremendous upper body strength. Exactly. That's why he's so good inside the clinch. When you see Kairat inside that clinch, he manhandles people. But this time, he was able to get the match to the ground by catching the kick and then putting King Ad down. And King Ad hasn't been able to go anywhere. And this is the game Actually, pwede siyang makatayo dyan eh. Malapit na siya sa... Yan o, yan o. O, diba? Tanet. Sa corner. He reached McLaren about Kairat Akhmedov. And McLaren was like... Akhmedov is so strong. He never really felt that pressure from somebody at this weight. He's just so powerful and controlling. It's really hard to deal with him. And that's why King Ad's not really able to do much. He created a little bit of space there by kicking off, but... Kairat immediately scooted in and kept that pressure on. Akhmatov believes the winner of this one should be the number one contender for Andrano Marais' world title. He has fought Marais twice. He was the one who ended Marais' first reign, but then, of course, lost the second match and lost the world title to Adriano. Has gone four and one since then on a three-fight win streak with Lover Trilogy match against the champion. <laughs> Good ground control. Round two, round two. Kingad's doing a lot of the right stuff. Round you know, two, tayo, round two. He's got on the hips. He's trying to push away. He's just got to be a Wag little bit faster than that push. Talaga. And getting his back on the wall so he can... Sobrang advantage ng ground pag, pag unanimous. 
Who is Olivia trying to do there with the foot of uh, of Danny? I think King Ed's foot got caught on the cup, and I think it was just trying to unhook it a little bit there from the, the shorts there of Kyrot. Feet on hips here from Danny King Ed tries to. So you're trying to pass the side control there, Karen Akhmatov? Yeah, he's pretty close to doing it, but King Ad's got a good guard. I'm surprised King Ad has been able to maintain this guard the entire time they've been on the ground. Kairat's got great guard passing, and there is a little bit of space. He's trying to get his back on the wall so he can get back up, but still Kairat with that pressure, and he's going to be able to end the round here, it looks like. Run to, run to. Danny needs to get back into it. Stand up position and the round ends. Five minutes down, ten remaining. Folks, wherever you're watching around the world. Round two, tayo, guys. Round two. Oh, my points. My points yung defense. Pero malayong malaki yung points pa rin ng kod, aggressor. Boring ng ganyan. Kaya pwede rin. Kaya pwede rin talagang decision to. Pag laging ganun. Which is hindi pabor sa side natin. Hey, coach for us. First of all, in the corner of the kick. And Rafi Pineda, shout out. They're going to try to limit the kicks. Uh, it was so easy for Kairat to catch that kick and put him down. I think they're going to change the strategy and go back to their hands. What about Kairat Akrapov? Everything looking, I mean, spot on the game plan so far, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kairat, ground control, very good for those first five minutes. Let's see if he tries to get back to that with the takedown and immediately gets to try to get on top. Ready, ready. Into the sixth minute, scheduled for 15. Trying to press Akbatov to the outside here. Can he hey, avoid the striking body, and avoid connects, the ground? Full power pa yun. A loss to the champion, Adrian Moraes, very nice early knee. on in his career. Two knees, three knees. King that would connects. love that rematch. Yan, hindi na natin nakita ko. As I said earlier, Akhmatov would love a trilogy match against the champ. Huli yun, huli. Moraes coming up a win early this year where he knocked right, out Demetrius Johnson. Hindi, hindi na po. On our one on TNT series. This is that clinch position. Let's see what Kyra can do with it. Or is Danny's got nice. two hooks. And he's just kaya na dito pagkatin tibaka. He's able to turn him around. That's good for King Ad. Kaya niyang magbuhat yan ng baka. Then basta basta. And Danny get the left arm free to work those strikes. No chance to throw the knees. He drops down looking for a single leg. Roundhouse kick there from Kyra. Nice, nice. Nice combination thrown by Kyra on the exit there from the break off the clinch. Kyra did say he was not afraid to stand and trade with Danny King Ad. Now we've seen Kairat stand in trade with Jehe Eustaquio, with Adrian Marias. We saw him do it with Daehwan Kim. Kairat's got very good striking, but he prefers to lean on his wrestling. I think he's probably going to do that here. Nice little catch there by King uh, Anis. Yeah. He rushes forward with a big uppercut. Well, we see Danny looking for a takedown here in the second round. Is is that where you thought he'd go here, Mitch? Well, I, I believe Ooh, that ule, King ule, that's that next. Kairat is not as good on his back as he is on top. And I think that's what he's trying to initiate here because now King Ed gets taken down with a beautiful duck under there. It was a huge wind up off that right hand. Kairat saw it come in, duck under lang. beautifully. Ground na naman to. Sana makaalis. Three minutes. Butterfly hooks here from Danny King Ed. Glances over to his corner for a moment. Mark Sengal calling the instructions. Will Akhmatov look to pass here? Both men not breathing heavily, plenty left in the gas tank. They're not known for gassing out either of them. Should be fine to go the full 15 minutes here. Single butterfly hook for Danny King out. There's a lot of instructions coming from Carrot's corner. What do you think they're saying to him over there, Drake? Well, you, if he's following their instructions, he's they're saying push down on that left leg, work into half guard, and then slowly try to get back in. But King Ad's good scrambling, right? King Ad is, he, we've seen that time and time again from King Ad. He's a good, he's got great movement. And as Kairat was able to try to push down on that leg, King Ad was still able to keep that butterfly guard. <laughs> <laughs> More comments. <laughs> Some heavier breathing coming into play, and you wonder if it's Danny King out because, like you said earlier on, when we saw Murad Ramazanov against Kazakhstan, this style of wrestling is grinding and it drains you and it saps you of every ounce of energy. 
Yeah, it's like trying to push against a brick wall. Pushing as hard as you can against that wall and it doesn't move, it's going to be draining. And not only physically, but also mentally. It demoralizes you. And it's just hard to deal with. And when somebody, they just keep coming, and that's what Kairat's bringing to this, is his game plan is being executed perfectly. Is this the right defense from Danny, the, the butterfly guard? Well, it's kind of all that Kairat's given him, right? Like, he should, he could try to put his feet on the hips like he did in the first and then push off. But it's so hard when you're dealing with a grappler nice. and the capability of Three minutes Kairat. Gone. I'd like to see him dig for an underhook right there. See, now he's got the underhook. Now we can create that space. That was a good job by King Ad. He's got the underhook, but still, Kairat is so heavy on top. You can nice. see the way Kairat just kind of floats on top. That's decades of experience. It's really hard to train for. Don't forget, folks, once again, Karolek Matov said he does not want this to go to the judges. He believes the judges always favor Danny King Ad. He wants to finish the Filipino. Well, if he continues with a performance like this, like in the next five minutes and 45 seconds, it's going to be pretty much academic because King Ed's not able to mount any offense off of his back here. But is this enough of a performance to send a message to Adriana Marias, Dragon? That, that's a tough call, especially, you know, when you've got, you know, so many contenders inside, you know, the flyweight division. And um, it's, it is a good move up. You know, he's t if he takes out the number two guy, you know, that that's a pretty big statement right there, right? Good popping right hand to the side of the jaw there from Akhmatov. 10 seconds. Watch out back of the head. Another one Watch there out. from Karak. Final seconds of this second round. We're going to move into the third. And once again, it is judged as an overall contest, not as three individual five-minute rounds. Sophia, you don't know what you're talking about. Our last show of 2021. Let's go to the Team Lakai corner now. Protect your midsection and the jumping. Wait for your timing. Throw some fakes and give him the knee because he keeps going and going. Oh, bucket me! If you do a straight, go for the midsection. Don't swing. Look. Pick your shots, then kick here. Bucket, bucket me, Kwan Yun. Okay, we are ready for the third <laughs> round translator. of action. To all of our Philippines fans, hope you enjoyed that peek into the corner with the genius Mark Sangal and Danny King. -Ann. But it seems to be. Traffic driving in the direction of Karat Akhmatov. How can Danny turn it around now, Dragon? Well, he's got to keep it on the feet. I'd like to see him start going after the leg kicks. Uh, maybe start going a little bit lower. Hard for Karat to pick that up as far as the takedown is concerned. But you can see him. He's going for it. Yeah, it's a bit of the wushu technique coming in now. Trying to mix it up. Danny King able to jumping round. Ah, Good well, well, takedown there from Akhmatov. Yeah, that was a beautiful left hand to a single was able to get him down again and this is right back to where we ended minute 10 and we're seeing it right back here as Kairat is able to settle back down into position get into the guard of King Ed and start working on him he asked me about possibly you know what's going to happen next for Kairat if, Kyra, if maybe if it's not Adriano Marias I wouldn't mind seeing him going up against DJ oh that'd be thrilling that would be thrilling and you know we can see that Denny is having difficulty but Hanggang may oras, may pag-asa. There's no other way you could prepare for Karat. You know this is what Karat's going to do. It's not like Karat Akhmatov is ever full of surprises. It's just that what he does, he does so well. Yeah, especially against primarily a striker, right? Shutting down their striking game, keeping them on their back, and just applying that suffocating pressure, right? See, look, Denny's got an underhook, right? He's got an underhook on the right side. He's on his side, right? And there's still nothing he can do, right? If you're getting coached by, you know, from your coach, from your corner, they're telling you to do this. You might be able nice to do one, nice one. Sprawls out here. There's Akhmatov. Nice. A little bit of the tape coming loose on the left glove of the former world champion. Nice. 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 And Olivia go, sees that take the counter. Go, go, go. It off. We're back underway. Can Danny keep it striking in the wushu realm and work nice. his magic? Nice. He's nice got upper. us down his feet, Danny Actually, King. He cannot he go felt that man. against Karen Akhmatov. He's got his hands on the top. Oh, 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 he's
Lu mambut di belakang. Lu mambut. And it's not beyond the realm of possibility for Denny Kinga to do that. Yeah, I like how he starts going to the uppercuts too to deter that shot. I want to see the knees. I want to see the uppercuts coming from a Kinga. You can see him threatened there with the uppercut. Mm, Ule, Ule, this Ule. is the danger time now for Karen Akhmatov with two minutes 20 remaining because Denny nice, Kinga's nice. confidence bowie, is building bowie. the longer it stays on its feet. Some knees here from the king. King has got to separate here. He's not going to do it right here. He just don't want to tangle in the clinch with Kairat, even though he's got the underhooks on both sides. Don't forget the Greco-Roman wrestling, known for its upper body strength, which is what Mitch is talking about. You've got to get out of this situation. Break off. Work the distance for the Wushu strikes. Looks like Kairat might be fatigued a little bit. He's not even pummeling much of a lead with just his aggression on the ground and his top control. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Talking me to the inside okay, five go. there. Akhmatov says, okay, boss, no worries. It didn't hit me in the groin. Have a knee there from King out. Right idea. Love to see him get the right arm free and crack an elbow across the jaw of Akhmatov. But there's no separation oh, here, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's because King Ad's not letting go or Kairat's not letting him give him that space, but this is a good this is good for Kairat Akhmedov to just sort of ride out the round here. King Ad's got to separate. I don't know why he's, he's trying to take him down. Trying to guess the game no, here of Danny down, yeah. King Ad with 56 seconds remaining in our last fight of 2021. Team Philippines leading the world two to one. But Karen Akhmatov having a very good uh, 10 minutes oh. of this fight. And now he's back on top and he's inside control. Oh, that was beautiful timing from Kairat Akhmedov to catch the knee like that and to turn around and put him on his back. No. Will Danny Wu a missed opportunity on the feet to not have broken off and worked the striking that was looking better in this round? Possibly. he's He might regret it, but he also gave him a little bit of time to maybe he was tired. But I don't know what he was thinking at that point in time, but... Kyron Akhmedov showing the veteran that he is and uh, really putting together a good display here, trying to work that ground and pound from the top position. Yan ang magpapatalo sa kanya kung sakali, sa kalaban, yung ganun na aggressive pero hindi ganun na kukonek. And the good will. Rightfully so for the holiday season ahead. It looks like it'll be a draw tonight between Team Philippines, Team Lakai, and the world. Hello. Uh, down with the judges, which is not where Akhmatov wanted it to go. He controlled everything on the ground. Oh, talo, talo, guys. Yeah, his top control was there. Dapat kasi round five yan eh. You know, King Ant had some moments, but I just kasi, don't think it was wala, hindi naman championship it was just kaya. talaga. Coming from Kyrat Akhmedov was just too much to deal with. Nagkamali pa sa uli, yes, exactly. Pero wala, ganun talaga. And just control really the entire 15 minutes. King Ant did have his moments, but not enough. Hola guys, talo talo talaga guys, nato. Pero okay lang guys, kasi yung mga young guns naman natin, yung mga kapapasok, they dominate naman. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds all of goods, battle, we turn goods. now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Yes, unanimous, unanimous. Ulay Adi, Team Lakay pa rin, yes, exactly. Team Lakay pa rin guys, Philippines pa rin tayo. But still, we need to congratulate.